Hey everybody, it's your friendly neighborhood hypnotist here, Joe Dinsdale from Secret Success Hypnosis Clinic. Today you are going to be my hypnotic guinea pigs. We're going to be doing a fun experiment that involves the Stroop task. Now, what is the Stroop task, you might ask? Well, it's basically a cool phenomenon, a psychological weird thing that happens to us humans. And I'm going to show you over here. I always point the wrong direction. Here, um, I'll give you an example. So this word is the word black, and it is the color black. If I asked you to name the color of the word, but not read the word, you would say black. It would be very easy to answer. But what about now? If I told you, tell me the color of the word, but not the word itself, it your brain kind of takes a second to process that information. And when you do that in rapid succession with different words, it uh, tends to really confuse the brain and people answer very, very slowly and get a lot of the words wrong. So under hypnosis, people tended to answer quicker, uh, more accurately. So we're gonna put this research to the test today. I'm gonna hypnotize you so that you get all scrambled up while reading words, and then you will be able to identify the words in question a lot quicker. So we're going to start with the baseline. Without under hypnosis, I'll get you to see if you answer the questions correctly. Maybe you can mark it down and try to answer them as quickly as possible. And go ahead now. Okay, so now that you've done that, we're gonna do the hypnosis part. Okay guys, so for those of you who wanna go into hypnosis right now, just take a nice deep breath in and let it out. Close your eyes all the way down. And another nice deep breath in and out. Completely relaxing the body down. And I want you to focus in on my voice, nice and relaxed and comfortable. And I want you to imagine just floating, drifting in that empty void inside your mind. Imagining you're floating, floating away back in time. You're floating. The more that you float, the more relaxed you feel. And I want you to bring yourself back to a time when you were very young, maybe just starting school, first grade. Maybe you can imagine now your first grade classroom or somewhere where you learned when you were very young. Smell the smells in that place. Maybe you hear the sounds of other children playing around you. And somewhere locked in your mind are those memories and they're all coming back now. You are feeling absolutely relaxed. It feels nice to be back in this childhood memory. When you had less to think about, less worry, so just relax. Enjoy that feeling of being in this memory. When you were around five or six, maybe seven, doesn't matter the exact age, but I'd like you to take yourself now as a child to a blackboard or a whiteboard and you can pick up the chalk or the marker and as you hold it in your hand you realize that you have not yet learned how to write. You simply forget how to write 
You don't even really know all the names of the shapes yet. So go ahead and just scribble on the blackboard or whiteboard. You can do some little scribbles because that's all you really know how to do. And it feels good to just draw. And then you look up and you see that there's a word written on the, the board there. But you don't understand what it means because you actually don't know what words are yet. You're at that point where you just don't recognize the words. And maybe you can see the words on the board start to shift around. The letters get scrambled up, but it doesn't matter because you didn't know what the original word was. Words no longer have meaning to you. You have not learned these words yet. You do not know what letters mean. And you're okay to shut this off for a bit because you want to do something incredible, which is succeed in this test. So you shut off all meanings of words. They are simply scrambled, meaningless scribbles to you now. It's locked in scrambled, meaningless letters. And I'd like you to open your eyes now and I want you to tell me what the color of these scribbles are. What the color of the scribbles are now. Letters have no meaning. Just tell me the color of the words. Go ahead now. You can say them out loud. The colors of the scribbles. Go ahead. Very good. Now close your eyes down. Take a nice deep breath in and let it out. Now you're drifting forward through time. Forward through time until you're back where you are now. Resting gently, listening to my voice. And soon your eyes will be wide awake. You'll feel very refreshed. And all meaning of words come back. It all comes back. Because you're an adult now. It all comes flowing back. The meaning of letters. The meaning of words. It was a fun experiment. But it's all back now. Five. Waking up from hypnosis. Four. Three. Two. And one. Eyes open feeling confident and relaxed. Now, I hope that experiment worked. Everybody's a little bit different, so some people may have found it incredibly powerful and some people may not have gotten the experience that they wanted. It just depends on the person, how suggestible they are, how hypnotizable they are, and whether they were willing and ready to go into hypnosis. So I would love to hear back from you guys on your experience. So tell me in the comments below what your experience was like. All right, looking forward to hearing about it, guys. All the best. Secret success.